What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and this video is going to be about best settings of Nvidia control panel and Nvidia app to make your game run smoother, faster and get more FPS on your potato PC. So let's stick to the video and let's jump on in. Next up, we want to install the best and the latest drivers for our GPUs. And if we don't have the latest drivers, maybe those settings won't work for us. So there are two methods to install drivers. One is to download the driver from the vendor's app and then install that from there. And the second one is to download the driver from the vendor's website. And then you can just input your specific GPU there and then you can just download the driver and install it in your computer. Okay, after that, we're going to tweak both of the NVIDIA softwares, which are nvidia app and the nvidia control panel so let's first jump into the nvidia app software okay once you are in your nvidia app you have to choose for your specific game in my case it's gonna be ghost of tsushima so i'm gonna click on the settings here and then this will take you to the game's recommended settings optimization and here i want you to choose settings from this recommended point to one point lower and this is going to basically save our gpu usage and the vram usage which is going to be resulting in a lot of stutter fix and it's going to be so much lag free and if you are an rtx user in my case it's rtx 3070 so you have to scroll down a bit and here you will see the driver settings here and here you want to change the dls override model presets to the latest ones so to do this you have to click on this option here and then you have to choose this from this this option here and then in the super resolution you have to click on that and then you have to choose a preset maybe the latest one or you can just simply click on the latest option this will keep updating the dlss override overrides whenever a new one is available so you have to click on this one and then click on apply in my case it's already applied so i would click on cancel and then after that here are the settings we need to go with so max frame rate should be your monitor's max refresh rate if you have a monitor with 60 fps you have to go with 60 fps if you have 100 or 120 fps then you should obviously go all the way up to 120 and then click on apply and then this is going to save these settings here and after that you have to change the vertical sync to fast now this is a thing if your monitor is g-sync compatible then you're good with this and if your monitor is not g-sync compatible then your v-sync is gonna cause you a lot of input lag and it's gonna make your gameplay so much stuttery and so much laggy so what is the best way to have no tearing and almost no performance loss at all it is the fast option if you click on this option here fast this is gonna act like v-sync is off but it's gonna prevent the fps to go above your refresh rate and it is also also gonna save the tiering which you see in your monitor so this these are the settings best for nvidia app let's jump on to the nvidia control panel okay next in the nvidia control panel app you have to first of all go to this adjust image settings with preview in under 3d settings and here you have to change let 3d application decide to use the advanced 3d image settings this is going to be applying our nvidia app settings and the settings we tweak in here in nvidia control panel so click on that and then click on apply and this will take a time and the settings will be applied and after that you have to click this option take me there and this will take you to the 3d settings we are going to tweak and here it's your personal preferences you have to go globally or you have to choose a program specifically i would suggest you to go by program specifically and here add up your game which you are gonna play for my case again goes to Tsushima and here there are some settings we need to tweak so first of all we will go to a bit down and then here you will see CUDA GPUs now you maybe have two GPUs or you maybe have an integrated GPU with your CPU so this is going to use its best preferences in terms of CUDA cores you have to choose the GPU which is dedicated and which is the Nvidia GPU of course you have to choose that one and then you need to click on OK and then after that you have to go down a bit and here you have to click on low latency mode click on that and then turn it on this will save the latency and the input lag we have in our game and this is going to make our gaming experience so much smoother 
and by scrolling down a bit more you will see some changes here like the texture filtering which is right now on quality so this is the texture filtering nick but it's not gonna affect so much on graphics if we lower it down or bump it up so we are going to lower it down a bit to get the most state of texture loading and the game performance overall so we're gonna click on the performance mode here so now our texture filtering quality is on performance and after that we are good to go and then you need to click on apply and you're set 